Unbroken Land. It's Insight Arts's key um, performance showcase. The audience go for a walk through the desert park and encounter art. So as a site manager, I liaise with the desert park to make sure that our group, all of the performers and the crew, are adhering to the infrastructure requirements of the desert park. It's quite a sensitive site. It's got lots of, you know, sensitive flora and fauna, um, different areas that we can and can't go, sacred sites to look after. I just keep an eye on everything that we're doing, that we're, we're not doing any damage and we're leaving the site as we find it and it's still usable for the public. It's a totally unique site for a theatre performance. So being outdoors, being in what's a, essentially a natural bush setting, it's really exciting and it's got lots of interesting sort of quirks and potential hazards and things that we really have to look out for. So I get to keep my eye on all of that. Ah. Okay. Winning. Okay. I think Unbroken Land is really special because it matches up um, professional local artists with community groups and members and, and people who haven't necessarily performed before. Um, and so it's such a beautiful skill sharing experience. Okay, so we're Corrugated Iron and we're from Darwin. We've never really done this type of stuff, especially in this venue, and it's very exciting. We were, were invited two years ago, which was an amazing experience as well and we've been re-invited and as performers this time. We're, we're going to basically step you through the paces. This is your first time in, this, in the uh, space for most of you. This is about where you want me, Janine. We are acting as a chorus for one of the main characters who is playing the gist. We're like his flock. We are his yeah, flock. Yeah, his flock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes we're sort of echoing what he's saying. So, it will, so he'll say something and then we'll like respond to it. Yeah, and just a lot of audience interaction and getting them interested and involved with the show. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of visual elements as well with like projections and interacting with all of that visual equipment and the nature around us as well. And it's just been an amazing opportunity for all of us to be able to come out here and meet all these different people and come together to perform in such an awesome place. What makes Unbroken Land so special is the different reasons why people get involved. An awesome opportunity to work with different kinds of people, to experience different kinds of things, to learn something new, um, and how good performing with other people feels. Insight's really special. Insight work specifically with um, groups who might be marginalised to accessing arts and that's really their ethos is about producing work that groups who yeah might not have that access otherwise to, to develop and to perform and put out artwork and we really encourage the wider community from all walks to be able to come here and have access to seeing this performance so that, that all ties right in with, with everything that Insight works for. My name is Michael. I made my own dance moves. Just have fun and a little bit nervous. I love Unbroken Land because um, how they how they are and what they do and and how they help us out with things that we need to do. In the Connect to Culture program, we're working with some young Indigenous women to incorporate elements of culture into the arts. So that includes language or knowledge about family or country. And in this case, it's about water because that's what we're doing with Unbroken Land. I do dances. Um, I did a bit of a singing by myself, so yeah. Tiffany actually has two songs in this. 
When I asked her what she loves about water, her first thing was that you need water to make tea. And tea joins us together with family. That I'm always happy to drink tea. Lizzie has, was really passionate about her language, which is Pinjarab. She also speaks Aranda and English. And so her song combines all three languages together. So then we created lots of loops and then out of those loops, we built a structured song. It's about watcha. Watcha is water. You like the environment and how we should be helping it out and not sort of destroying all the water and for the future generations, how are they going to survive and live off their water? <laughs> We brought our dancers to show Ngapa treatment, Chukurpa, the water treatment. It's a Chukurpa treatment, a travel across the country. It is a father, grandfather's Chukurpa that we follow. If you lost in the desert, there is Ngapa that traveled all the way underground. You know? They make water holes, so good use that you can find Ngapa. And also you can sing to it, and the, the ngapa comes. Yeah, it's really interesting that we look what um, other performers that they do in it, the dance, it's different to us. Yeah, it's really interesting that we all get together and do ngapa, ngapa treatment. I'm really excited about just the performance and showing everyone how hard we've really worked on this. They're really open to everyone's ideas, so um, incorporating everything and just becoming, yeah, really, it's really organic and like just really using everyone's ideas. Just a few bits of housekeeping before we go in. This is a guided performance. Please follow instructions from myself and the other ushers and staff at all times. And children, please stay with an adult at all times. The whole path is just over one kilometre and there are four main performance sites we'll be stopping at with other exciting installations popping up along the way. Up a check, everyone, follow now. Water goes places that people can't get to. Rain's coming, rain's coming. Here we go. We go, we go, we go. Here we go. We go, we go, we go. Here we go. If we, we think about water as being an element in our, in our environment that flows and that falls and flows away from us and sometimes dries up completely, I guess we can kind of see ourselves, all the, all the different individuals that become part of a community event like this as the droplets gathering together, creating a pool of ideas and flowing like a river into our performance space and eventually we evaporate out again. So hopefully we disappear from the desert park, leaving no trace and just that memory of, you know, what sort of fantastic rain came down and left flowers blooming. What a stunning sight, for one thing, um, an amazing array of performers. The performance was beautiful. Um, the, all of the kids were amazing, great dancers. Um, and a really beautiful story about water. Yeah, and the visuals were amazing, the lighting was beautiful. I really, really loved it. Oh my goodness, it was just so diverse. I really had no idea what 
I was going to be experiencing. And Sight Arts has been pretty amazing to involve audio description for their audiences. I'm really more curious now about everything happening here in Alice Springs. Every day there's something new happening. I feel that we need more of this stuff that tells the story of um, not only Central Australia but the underneath all the, all the um, cultural and sacred stuff that happens. It's beautiful, this is full sensory immersion. A world-class theatrical performance put on here locally in Alice Springs.